Welcome back to my Power BI basic series where I'm covering various tasks that you carry out in Excel and how to create them in Power BI. In this episode, I'm going to be covering a bar chart and a line chart and how you can create those in Power BI. So let's move over to Power BI. Creating a bar chart or line chart in Power BI is very, very simple. What we need to do is just pick which chart we're going to do. So what we're going to go for is just your normal bar chart. And then we're going to drop in the axis, which will be the dates and then the new cases as the values. We open that out, remove the parts that we don't actually need, which are the year, month and well, can leave in the day. And now I just want to go down, drill. And then this gives you your breakdown in order, year, month. If we put in the location again and select that country. So here we can see the flow of new cases that have happened. And then if we wanted to simply just go to a line chart, we can just click on line chart and then you can stick in secondary access if you wanted to. So if we wanted to have a look at secondary values and then the same if you want to go back to the bar chart, it can then put them side by side, but obviously it's a bit harder to see with that one. And then this one's nice and simple. If you need to add data labels, then you can go over to format your visual. And then here gives you the data labels down. And then you have a little button that says on or off. And then if you just click on on, then here it will give you the number of cases per month. Then if you wanted to change any of the information, so if you wanted to add like a little background and the positioning, you want to do above, below automatic and then the values if you want to change the color and then also the units so at the moment it's defaulted itself to millions but you can actually do thousands you can see it broken out by that or you can do none which is okay to a point but then it, it can get a bit messy depending on what you're looking at so millions is probably the best option with a decimal place like that so if you like this video please comment let me know which bits you liked which bits you didn't is there anything you want me to do next and obviously like and subscribe till next video